Hello. You see the tools, so you know what time it is. Um, a while ago, um, in the Lockpickers United Discord, Armlock, uh, Picksmith, and I were talking about making um, uh, impressioning challenge locks. And a while ago, I already impressioned uh, the challenge lock Armlock made. That was uh, based on a American Lock 1100. Uh, that took me a while. It was a crazy, crazy, crazy lock with uh, weird uh, key pins. Picksmith sent me a challenge lock as well. It's this one. As you can see, the key is in, so I impressioned it. Impression me. Oh, and pick me. Well, maybe do. I'll do that later. It works. Both sides. Took me a long time. Uh, two blanks. Uh, I started with this blank, and I gave up because I was certain I overfelt something. But let's look at the key I have now. I just opened it. Um, like that. Looks like I had to go even deeper. Yep. And maybe... Well, maybe I overfelt uh, the first cut. And Yeah, it looks like that. I overfelt the first cut maybe. But it's close. But with this key I was almost there as well. So, very nice. And now... I'm going to put all this to the side. And let's gut this lock, because I'm very curious what Picksmith came up with. There we go. Look, I got stickers. They came in yesterday. Um, try not to get brass dust everywhere. It is a challenge lock, so of course I'm going to shim it. This is the key. I haven't looked at it yet. Uh, I don't think I will, because the lock opened. It says pull here. For emergency only, do not open. But I'm going to leave that on for the next one. Because I now have a working key, of course. Uh, first, let's get this circlip off. No, oh, that's an annoying one. That is an annoying one. Let's see if this works. Okay, and maybe now I can... Yep, push it out. All right, um, my key. Shim. Follower. That's what I'm missing. I'm struggling with the shim. this all 
right. Now, let's look at those spins. One is serrated. Wow. <laughs> Two is a worm or something like that. <laughs> oh, funny. Uh, oh, okay. I messed up. It was like that, I think. Let's check if this is right. Yep. And if this is all right. Looks like it. Right, um, sorry, I was distracted. Uh, no modifications to the plug for impressioning the, the shims were useless. For inf impressioning the driver pins, don't really matter unless you overfile, but I'm going to take them out anyway. Uh, yes, it's They're tapered. And it looks like he made them themselves, um, leaving the springs. Oh, might as well dump them here. They look all the same. Dun, 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 dun. One is a bit stuck. There you go. So, like that. No modifications to the housing as well. Have a quick look at the pins. I really like that worm dryer, worm key pin. Let's call it that zigzag, something that uh, took me the longest. Very nice pins. Very nice. Um, you know what? I'm going to put it together and pick it as well. So the lock is in the vise. Let's pick it. tapered pins so losing quite some tension so I'll sit said something because of there were three very low lifts. Let's try a slightly deeper hook. Oh. Pin in the back needed a little tip. Oh. It was harder to impression than to pick. Of course I already knew what was in there because I impressioned it and I knew the pitting. But uh, Thank you, Spicksmith, for making this look for me. Uh, I'm going to find someone to uh, send it to. Have a nice day. <laughs>